Hello once again, oh. students. I'm back, Our Teacher Santi once again. I would like to welcome you to our virtual class for today. Are you ready? Let's go! All right, kids. Welcome back to our virtual classroom. So last time, we talked about the characteristics of living things. Now today, we will be talking about uses of living things, part one. All right, let's go on. Okay, before we proceed, every time that we have a virtual class, I will give you this virtual classroom rules in order for us to have a peaceful um, discussion all right so number one be a good listener all right so always remember to that number two follow directions number three finish the video till the end so put this in your mind next here importance of living organisms so living things or living organisms so what is the importance now let's talk about human uses of living things including animals plants fungi and microbes take many forms of both practical such as the production of food and clothing so those are the uses of living things to human being uses of animals now today we will be talking about first the uses of animals okay animals are living things okay you have to think of it now let's look at some uses of animals to to us human as human being okay number one here listed animals used as food here oh I like to eat I'm very hungry this time grilled chicken who likes to eat grilled chicken great I like to eat too next what is this pork steak oh I know some of you are very hungry this time because you like to eat pork steak right and here another one is beef steak some of you doesn't like to eat beef but me I really really like to eat beef so animals as food another one here we have oh grilled fish next we have crab I know that crab is one of the delicacies here in Thailand also grilled fish and also this one lobster no? lobsters so see lobsters or lobster so animals used as food as you can see on this uh, pictures another thing we have silkworm Ew, for me, I don't like to eat this one, but some people loves to eat this one. And also we have the squid and we have the sago worm. So some people likes to eat this kind of uh, living organisms, but me, I, I don't like to eat this one. So animals used as food, remember that kids okay here the animals are used as source of food by humans and for feeding wild animals in zoo for example the flesh the flesh means meat of goat rabbit pig sheep cow and chicken are used to are used as source of food for these two um, big or huge animals okay we give meat to the lion and we give meat to the tiger also another example of animals that feed uh, using 
other animals or shark crocodile alligators those animals that I mentioned are meat eaters they eat meat only so that means animals are very useful to us as human beings and to other living creatures let's go on number two animals used as pet okay I know that some of you you have your pet at home me I don't have I don't have any pet here we can use dogs as our pet I know that you have dogs there we can use cat cat as our pet okay and also here we can use parrot parrots as our pet okay these animals that I put here that uh, you can see in your screen are only few of those animals that you can uh, use as your pet some people I uh, used snake as their pet number three animals used for clothing okay for making clothes number one example that I put here is what the silk worm as you can see here silk or the silk worm uh, look, at, look at that silk worm produces silk for clothing okay the, that is why we have the silk product this time especially here in Thailand in this country I saw lots of silk um, clothes here and this cloth made from silk worm are very expensive now here look at this one from worm to silk look at the process start starts from moth pairing and then the moth will lay eggs and then the eggs will be hatch it will become a worm and then a larva young larva and uh, if they reach 10 days already and then as you can see there day 14 days late age of worms and then after that 14 days the cocoons on month age will be processed and then the cocoons finally it's there and after that one the cocoons are ready for harvests to make a what to make a silk okay from the worm to silk example of silk product we have here now as you can see I think your parents you have this silk product or silk clothes or fabrics in your house this time look at this this clothes are made from silk and where is that silk from or comes from from the silk worm itself okay another example here we have the sheep the animals like camel sheep and other are used for obtaining fibers from them so as you can see someone or the man is removing not the skin removing the the wool from the body in order to produce fibers from them okay I cannot show you the video you can search in YouTube because maybe I will be copyrighted so I will not use video anymore all right so you can see here the process the sheep are shared to remove the fleece the fleece and then the fleece is bladed to transport to the meal and then the please is washed to remove dirt and then the next the sheet is twisted into a rope called silver and then 
the process will go on until you can reach the yarn is wound wound to form balls of wool so example of this product the finished product we have here this one so as you can see this certain products that I showed to you in your screen you will be using these products if the surroundings are cold okay you have planned to visit Korea if you have planned to visit uh, a cold places a cold countries you can wear this kind of clothing all right so from the sheep okay from animals also these clothes are made of made from wool or of wool number four animals used for transportation so as you can see here the horse is carrying a carriage and also the camel is carrying a man so used for transportation if you want to visit some places especially before the people in the ancient time they only used this kind of transportation in Egypt or in Morocco they used camel and some places here in Thailand used also horses as a sort of their transportation all right horse and camel used for uh, transportation okay next the animals like camels like bull horse are used for trans transporting of goods as well as humans right also human beings are can be used as what a source of transportation animals used for farming okay not only food not only for clothing not only for transportation but also here animals can be used for farming okay okay so you can see we have here the buffalo we have here the cow both of these animals used for plowing if you are farmers you can relate to this kind of doing so animals are actually belongs to living things so this is one of the uses of living things okay buffaloes horses and cows are used for plowing the soil we have animals used for business okay not only those things that I mentioned also animals used for business poultry and pig farm for business you can sell these chickens and also you can sell these pigs in order for you to have income and in order for you to have money we have here the poultry farm and the pig farm now let's review the things that we talk about already okay uses of animals number one animals used as food number two animals used as pet number three animals used for clothing number four animals used for transportation and number five animals used for farming All right and number six animals used for business so those are the things that you have to put it in your mind the uses of animals next time we will be talking about another living things which is uh, very useful also to human being and to other living organisms all right so the same thing 
before I will end this video, answer the worksheet given by the teacher, print it, and answer, then place it in the folder, and bring it when the class resume. Have a good day. Until next time. Right.